How you doing? I'm Mike and Kid with Kid Long and Tree. I um, just wanted to demonstrate a couple of new toys that I learned from the Hitch Climber Workshop with Taylor Hamill. Um, one of them is going to be the new, well, I wouldn't say new, it's mine new. It's called Trifle Burger uh, Serious Multi Sling. Uh, basically, it's a ring and a splice die, but I used a uh, revolver for a, uh, a uh, friction saver type of device. We're going to set up the M method and the V rig, whatever you want to call it, and just kind of give you an idea of some of the stuff you can do with it. Now let's say you're you're climbing on one side over here or some other part of the tree and you get to another you get to another area where you want to work. But you kind of want to you're going to be working here and then wanting to get out a little bit further and so this rope angle is a little steep or you want to change the direction or you want two tie-in points so it makes you feel more secure. You can pull out your serious multi-sling. Put it through your ears, crotch, round the stem, doesn't matter. However you want to put it. Make sure you're bucked into a, a trunk or whatever you are near. You buck in before you have to take off your climbing line because you are going to remove it to set it up. So before you unclip, make sure you are tied into a different point. Generate some slack so you can pull the eye of your climbing line off. <coughs> Slide that through. Through the ring first. Okay. And then put it through your revolver. So now it acts as a friction saver so you're not tearing up your rope. Okay, it's a little it helps to, for ascending and descending, it helps to reduce the uh, wear and tear on your climbing line so it makes it last longer. I mean, this, all this stuff costs money and money doesn't, you don't just get given money all the time, so you gotta buy new stuff and so you want it to last as long as possible. And especially if your life is ever on the line with it, you want it to be in as good a shape as possible. So once you have your, uh, your rope passed through the eye first and the revolver, you wanna clip it back into your Pitch climber pulley, which is the center attachment. Okay. Now you have that set up, you want to bring the center part of the rope down. You take another hitch climber pulley, your DMM Ultra O. Put it to where you can open the gate downwards into that top hole. So now you have your your end method set up. Okay, so you can either you know work on it from this way or work on it from this way. The only problem with having this is there's no device that keeps you from one, one spot to the other. So you're kind of moving in between and it wants to pull you back into the center. So what you can do to remedy that is take you a friction cord. It doesn't I mean, whatever, as long as it's at least one to two sizes smaller than the climbing line you're working with, then it should grab well enough and you shouldn't have any issues. Tie you a, any kind of friction knot you want, whether it's a three wrap six coil prosthetic or whether it's a distal or a sway bitch or whatever you want to use. I like to use the VT, so I'm going to tie that. One of my mistakes that I was doing was what the Taylor pointed out to me one day was when I tied my friction hitch, I would use the same uh, carabiner that I was using for the hitch climber, and it doesn't allow you to take it off without unloading the system. By clipping it in separately, it allows you to keep the system loaded and just swap your friction to whichever side you need it. You may need to hold more on this side so you'll put it on this side and you may need to hold more on this side so you'll put it on this side. 
So it just depends on your work position situation as to where you want to put it. So he told me that just clipping it in separately allows you to load it and unload it without having the issue of unclipping the carabiner extra. Clip your carabiner into that first hole. And now you can climb off this side and you keep your progress on that. You can generate slack here and still climb off one stretch if you wanted to. So that's my setup that I use every now and then. Uh, it just helps to sure across a, a wide spread. We tie it in two different areas. You can do a limb walk or whatever. But you can work it to where you can walk out a little bit, walk it off there, climb off one individual line, still catches your your progress. You don't go any further. But the hitch climber in there works as a uh, slack tender. Put your slack and set it. Make sure your carabiner is twisted right before you before you get into it. So, all right. Thanks for watching. This is Michael Kid with Kid on a Tree. Wishing you guys a safe climb and.